<laughs> Alright, everyone, and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian today, along with. Finish and Mike with Hillidor Keel at your service, who is also a bit impressed what just happened. <laughs> no, it's just it's just simple. On here on OBS, I just I have the little uh, scene transitions uh, option, and I can just cut between different ones. Uh, might as well showcase them in a few. This is just cuts, which is just immediate. This is fade, which has been well the standard we've been doing so far. Then we have swipe here. Which well swipes it away like it's a <laughs> uh, what uh, a slide in a uh, yeah in an old projector. Uh, then we have stinger, which I I don't know what that's supposed to be doing different than cuts. It doesn't seem to do anything. And then there's slide here, which well has both of them slides. I might consider yeah. I'm mostly just playing around. I might sw swap it back to, you know, to fade or go with swipe from now on. But yeah, just <laughs> messing between <coughs> has been a bit long overdue. Now, if my avatar would wake the fuck up. <laughs> Anyways, welcome back to Dave the Diver for 23rd full stream of this game. And yeah. <laughs> For the people in Australia, uh, Happy New Year. And that's, what, that's because we're starting... Yep, yeah, because of that, we're starting a bit late because I was watching Beanie stream. And, well, <laughs> it hit midnight for him just about 11 minutes ago. So, yeah, Happy New Year, Australia. Yeah, and obviously this, since I've been doing this since 12 midday, not midnight, already, I text the people uh, Happy New Year in advance. And good luck doing that in 12 at night. But everyone is doing it. Yeah. I do so we say this. Yeah. Go ahead. Oh, sorry. Uh, I say this in advance here as well. Happy New Year, everyone. <laughs> yeah, Happy New Year. And now I am a bit curious. If we go, if you go on long enough with this game to hit New Year in game, is there actually something that might happen? Because at the moment in game, it's the 11th. It's the 16th. Of uh, well, the, the previous month. Oh, I know. I am curious. Yep. Okay. Typically, when that's around, it means that there's uh, going to be tuna somewhere, and well, we do need those things for the breeding still. Okay. Oh, Let's it, see. These random. Uh, it's it's it hasn't always been the case that there's tuna whenever those are near. But it has been the majority of the time. Oh, and right. I think we do have a breeding pair of bluefin tuna now. So we'll have to go look for more yellowfin tuna. Oh, yeah. If you have both, if you have both, you have uh, enough to. Uh, yeah, bluefin tuna. It's time to upgrade some dishes that require both of them, don't we? True. Though it was. Um. I'm drawing a blank on which dish we... But it was the Marlin, the Marlin dish. That's the one that if we upgrade it to the maximum, it should have or should hit the 370 required for the Platinum status with Cookster. <clears throat> so yeah, Yellowfin and maybe Marlin, if we can find them. Before I go... Um... Don't think there's really too much use to me going with tranquilizer guns at the moment, since most we have most of the breeding pairs already. There's still some in the, the absolute depths that we don't have. But yeah, hunting Marlin is going to be a lot easier with the death rifle than a, a stun gun. Yeah. <laughs> this is a death rifle. <laughs> we also still need a Mako Shark. Again, which should be somewhere in these depths, so we might as well go look for those as well. And just to be certain, just to be safe, I'm switching over to this thing so I don't accidentally deploy the freaking mine again. <laughs> okay. Lobster is also something that we need. For the party that's coming up, but Tuna and Marlin are going to be my main priority at the moment. Because is, is it only lobster or all the shellfish? I think it said specifically a lobster, but we can check the menu when we get back to uh, the restaurant. 
Yeah. Oh damn it! Now I have that song stuck in my head again. What? And the one I told you, talked to you about yesterday. The translation otherwise it would call, be called lobster pod or crawdad party. <laughs> and crawdads <laughs> and lobsters are related, I remember right. Okay, I'm just going to skin you because I want <laughs> to save the drone for Tuna and Marlin. Let me grab I that. Remember, there is enough to translate some of it to give you a, a bit of a hint. It's a very lively song. It basically goes like, uh, Crowdard party, Crowdard party. Time for some fucking Crowdard party. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of those stupid, still catchy song, but it's hard to not smile when you listen to. It sounds a bit like an early version of the Crab Ray. Uh, probably, but there's more of uh, the ones seeing are more of uh, supposed to be lively farmers. <laughs> and now I'm reminded of a song called The Farmer's Daughter, which is, well, <laughs> every line sounds like it's going to end on a vulgarity, but instead they swap it around to something else, and it's only at the very absolute end of the song that they go, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I should link that to you sometime. <laughs> oh dear. Unsure if I can handle it. Yeah, okay, just going to wait around a bit and might as well catch some things until this trap goes off. I'll still need to look into the exact uh, things with it. So, yep. If what we put in actually has much of an effect on what we get out of it. Yeah, three American Lobster, okay. Hmm. Actually, we got two Star Lobster out of that. I'm guessing if we put in a live sample... Oop. Is that a Mako? Yeah. I would, I, I would suspect a live sample would attract more, for they would put me notice it more. Hello? And there's the Yellow Pintuna. Yeah! Okay, but first off, send this thing off. Now, with some luck, we can catch multiple of these in one go. We just put this there. Scare the others away. Yep. Almost all three in one go. Almost, but we got... Yeah, we got two. And we only need one. Now, with luck, it's still only a chance if we get row from them, so we might as well go three for three. Okay. Are you taken? Now, we know where Marlins have a habit of spawning over beh uh, behind the uh, ship, or the, the, the cargo ship. So let's go look over there. And All this right. might become a very short dive. <laughs> Not that there's anything wrong realize. with that. We're going to need, end up, we need to upgrade our crab trap, aren't we? Uh, we already have it upgraded to the max. We can use oh. it three times. There's another spot oh. here. Uh, oh, Lord, then I really hope we are able to... Uh... Well, you know, have breeding pairs of them. Hopefully, yeah. I should have left. Actually, I can use that. I put in a three-star shrimp in that crab box, so if we get three stars, yeah, three-star lobsters out of that, I think that that'll, yeah, that'll be a big lean towards it actually, well, <laughs> affecting what you get out. Also, I think one of the dishes that I singled out for trying to get more of was the one with Titan Triggerfish. So we should probably try and get some of those as well. Or some more of those. Okay. But for the most part, we can just relax, wait for this thing to trigger, grab another shrimp over here. Oh, yeah. uh, Beanie at this moment could probably be putting some shrimp on the Barbie. Oh, God. I still get the use of that, that, that Barbie mm. term. 
Okay, those were only two stars, so I'm guessing it might not have that much of an effect, or it was just a shrimp I put in. Still got a, quite a few out of that single trap. Yeah. But still, I'll, I'll take one of the I'll take one of the live capture weapons next dive, so we can compare. Yeah. I, should, I should probably say this. Uh, be, be the best, uh, just a bit say we were, we were maybe to do an afternoon stream and do a, definitely do a, an evening stream. That's yeah. no longer the case. Yeah. I think it's uh, the other way around, but yeah, I'll, I'll be leaving for the aunt and uncle's place at 7, and well, we typically stream start our stream our evening streams at 8, so that's not going to be an option. Because I couldn't get lucky enough to knock out one of these. Ew, thrasher! I, <laughs> I missed that thing because of, I was too focused on the tuna. Yeah, unless we start the stream at night... Actually, no. You, you're gonna be there longer, aren't you? Probably till past midnight, yeah? Yeah, then definitely no stream this evening. Sorry, folks. Mm. Okay, this is just stupid trying to chase after Tuna with a freaking squeaky mallet. <laughs> Seriously? Almost got a hit there. It, it is still a chance that it could knock them out. It, it's a it's a silly chance, but it's a chance. I mean, it's a high it, shot of them knocking you out, so you it, do knock them out. Okay, let's give it one more shot here at the end of their loop. And of course, they smack me in the face all the same. Okay. Now let's see if we can find another crap, uh, yeah, another crap spot. Uh, actually, I'll just use that, <clears throat> and then probably call it a dive. <coughs> Pardon. Still don't really get what it's what. I, yeah, why I'm just coughing a lot lately. <clears throat> I'll be having some coughs here and there, but. Nothing major. Hmm. Oop. These keep those little things keep sneaking by me. I, I didn't even notice this here. Uh, let's see. Let's let's put in let's put in the purple urchin since that's rank five. Actually, whilst we wait for that, I might as well just. Google it if what we put in actually has much of an effect. Yeah, so just grab uh, yeah, this. You only sacrificed one shrimp, you got several lobsters. True. So it's a good deal all the same. I'm just curious to how you know, yeah, how much it might affect the chance of getting three stars and such. So let's see, Dave the diver crap trap. Okay. Da, 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 da. Can sit anywhere. Yeah. Da, 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 da. Let's see. Does Reddit have anything on this? Also, just in case the timer is actually movement based, I'll just be spinning in a few no, circles. No, you just kind of went down still. Hmm. I actually kept eye on it when you were standing still. Yeah, I'm not talking about the oxygen. I'm talking about the timer for the crap crap to go off. There we go. Oh. Okay, two, three star. So I think it does have an effect on if we put in better quality stuff ourselves. And well, sea urchins are really easy to capture. So those make for perfect baits. Uh, ta -da -da. <laughs> yeah, we don't use sea urchin uh, that much, do we? No. Okay, return to boats. Let's see. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the tub when si oh, <laughs> apparently it's <laughs> apparently I've been missing something when setting the traps. Apparently it says the chance of catching rare species increases if you use higher grade baits. So I'm guessing 
the rank, uh, the ranked number and the amount of stars does affect things. Right. And let's see, yellowfin two in a row. Got it. So we yes. have breeding pairs of those now. American lobster two lobster row. <laughs> okay, that's set up for that for that as well. Okay. That, that was a, just an extra nice bonus. Okay, the seaweed are grown. Uh, let's see, this is... Yeah, just an upgraded card, I'm presuming. Yeah, American Lobster. There's still a few that we're missing over here. And in the medium depths. Hmm. Oh, dear. Okay, now I'm very happy for... This is the, we have a few days before the lobster thing begins. Yep. No. So this I'll is just that. perfect. Still gonna need to hunt lobsters, obviously. But everything will, every little help will help. <laughs> yeah. So I just thought I heard something next to me, but so I'm guessing ink is crawling around through my stuff again. Because Oscar is laying on the backpack over at the closet, which he has taken to the last few nights. Let's see, can we upgrade? We need one more brittle starfish for that. Okay. And those are in the depths as well, so we have multiple reasons to go down to the depths. Let me just double check. Uh, yeah, dash, two worm tunnels. Okay, so we go harvest, we go catch live fish, use that as bait in the crab traps, and then head out again. <laughs> also, we can see if the bounty board, not really bounty, but if the board has anything new, which it does. It does okay. <laughs> Doculosteus, okay, kill two of them. Okay. Well, why not? If we, if we can get some row, an extra roof, then we have a breeding pair. True. Hmm. And, oh, good gods. Oh, dear mental image I just had. Oh, gods. What? Uh, do, do you know that some beach restaurants on, sometimes have a chalk yaw as a decoration on the wall and such? Yeah. Imagine that with uh, Don Glostius. <laughs> so, in that case, it would be the entire armored skull. Probably, but, yeah. The, the damn thing has... Well, I have said that this basically it has a basically a bear trap for more. I'm not joking. What a great voice to boom skull. Yeah, the two things are scary, especially attached to the small, but a Donkelosius one? It's not just several teeth. It's, um, it's like a massive beak. Okay, so like an underwater bird. Yeah, except that it's, uh, it, it, it has fangs, just the fangs are attached to the damn thing, so it has, uh, yeah, you've seen it. it yeah. It, it looks nightmare foolish. <coughs> <coughs> okay, first thing in the new year, give this place a good dusting from this, <coughs> from just how much I'm coughing. Oh, yeah. Uh, I should have done a proper winter cleaning, uh, before Christmas, but, well, you know what happened. <clears throat> I have cleaned, but more of what I could, uh, what I uh, were able to mentally and physically handle. Hmm. It's reminded of something here. You just... Okay. Just spotted this in the, a pile of pillows that I have off to the side. Uh, what, one of those neck things for when you're in a long ride in cars or in a plane or something. I'm pretty sure I used this thing before during streams to support my neck, so I might as well try and put that thing on again. As much as it makes me look <clears throat> like I'm wearing a dog collar of sorts. And see how that goes again with streaming. Oh gosh, what are those? I have not seen those. Is it is one of those inflatable ones? Yeah. Oh god, yeah, yeah, they're comfy, but also, especially for kids, hilarious. Yeah, it it makes you look like you're wearing a toilet seat around your neck. 
Yeah, that too, but in some cases, I just found that it looked like one of those uh, uh, 16th century nobles, you know, like uh, Shakespeare. It was straight ahead around the neck. Okay, that's a different kind of frill, but still. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I don't think kids I met have mocked anyone for using them. They just found it, uh, f found it to use. And yeah. use it themselves, even, uh, just for the giggles. And comfort. Hmm. I think I might have overinflated this thing because it feels a bit too stiff. Oh well. I can fix that. I, I got a needle right here. Nope. That face it has. <laughs> Well, it's pretty much all face with how big the things or teeth are. Yeah, dude, it had a little was no, 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 no face. Like it was, looks so in panic. Since I'm, since I've already looked up one thing, how the heck are you supposed to get three star, stargazers and such? Uh, let's see, Dave, the diver, three. Star... Stargazer. Uh, uh, crabs are easy, just point and shoot. Stargazer wants to win until they pop into the ground. Okay. It's just the preview I'm seeing. And... Uh, do do we guess... need to snapshot this thing the moment that it pops out or something? Pro that would make sense for... The rock is the easiest way to deal with them. But, let's be honest, mm. dropping a rock on a crab or fish definitely will leave a lot of damage and probably harm the quality. Okay, apparently, it, according to one to one player here, the steel net gun lets you catch both crab, spider crabs and stargazers. Uh, to right. Yeah, steel net gun, okay. Well, that just nice. means that this one's still getting killed, though. Yeah, it's... Okay. yeah. Uh, it does make sense. Like, if you want it higher quality, you need to do the eat a bit harder. But the dropping the rock is the easiest way, but it, of course, as I said, dropping a rock definitely decreases the quality. Definitely, and you yeah. You drop the bloody rock on it. It's... Okay. Oh, gosh, I think I have a good comparison, but well, I hope no one does. No. Uh, uh, like shooting a rocket launcher at a D... Actually, that's a horrible comparison. There's not, would probably not be much left of it. Also, I'm just taking a moment to remove this thing again because, yeah, I definitely overinflated it. <clears throat> oh, God. Okay. I, I could... Oh, a good comparison, a good comparison. I guess if you shoot a D with a cannonball? Yeah. Like, you mm. killed it, but... Pretty a big chunk of it is probably really inedible. Definitely, yeah. At least the area that got hit by the cannonball. And yeah, yeah, there is a almost anti-science on it, like... Hunters in the past and nowadays today even... ...take very tactical uh, thinking when they plan to shoot a animal. For they want to kill it as fast as possible, with as little major damage as possible. Yeah, um... Let's put one of these in. It's a smaller thing. Ooh, hello. Oh, hello. Um. Blind seahorse? We just keep finding new species every now and then still, huh? Yeah, a blind seahorse. Okay. Level 3 dart gun? Yeah, okay. Well, I should it is as I told about it. There's a... Uh, I don't know how it's most common, but it, in Sweden and probably some other countries... You're not allowed to just shoot an animal and then let it go. You... It's required for you to at least try to finish the job. I since, think it's in most places where hunting is legal. Yeah, since, again... 
if you just shoot it for the sport and let it run away, then yeah, that would be a massive fine. Especially Definitely. if they track the bullet back to you. <clears throat> Let's see. Oh, hunt is allowed, but uh, that, but there's no room for cruelty in hunting. And uh, now, now I'm reminded of a game that uh, Mandalore Gaming reviewed recently. I forget its specific oh. name, but um, basically, no, no, which one you mean? <laughs> basically, it's it used to be a big hunting uh, series, which was actually accurate and such, such as having you were pushing you to aim to the brain, the heart and such to get a clean kill. Uh, but that game, which I'm pretty sure if I recall correctly, ended the series, uh, was based... I think they quoted <laughs> at least one developer on that as to saying that they were trying to go for the COD, <laughs> the Call of Duty crowd. And well, if you compare that to a hunting game, then I think you can guess how that went. Yeah, I saw it. I watched it to the end of the video. But a good god. That was a uncomfortable game. We had a very bad... Like, we had what did... It kept uh, saying it is its uh, tips and such on things that you should do. And they are very good hunter tips and uh, the losses all that. But the game itself, when you played it, was showing... Yeah... Complete and utter Compl opposite. Yeah, almost complete disregard for it. So I just felt like this is uncomfortable to watch. Yeah, it's the kind of game that has you, you know, thinking, what the fuck were they smoking? Yeah. Okay, I don't want to go away up too far from that crap box, because I was planning on just go heading back so it, that, that we can try hunting in the other area. And then again, following you. Okay, I don't think it can fit. <laughs> I'm not sure if we even want to go hunt uh, the, donk, uh, the donks with only a, <laughs> a, <ta> <laughs> a tranquilizer pistol. <laughs> We'll definitely need the rifle for that. <laughs> like, it could be a challenge, but <laughs> it would most likely just end up with it, us getting sunk. I'm laughing for you to steal the nickname for the, the donks. <laughs> but it is just a shortening of their name. <laughs> oh, I, I thought Uncle Dunkles were <laughs> hilarious. Oh, good God, the dumbass. <clears throat> okay, let's head on back. A bit, we could have gotten more lobster, but I think we already have a good amount anyways, and probably even more on the way from the fish farm. Oh, dear. So I don't think we need to worry too much. Yeah, obviously, it's probably still good enough for us to keep the, <laughs> uh, hunting for lobsters, but... The more pretty pair we get, the better. And I don't think I got a single brittle... Yep. No brittle starfish. Don't think I saw any anyways, but oh well. Hmm. Hmm. I realize. wonder if there are any special ones in the, the glacier area. Yeah. And I, I, I should have turned that one in at the parlor. I keep forgetting to put, to bring the seahorses there since we haven't done that in a good long while. Uh, <laughs> new lobster egg? We got rock. Is it. Lo rock. Lo mm. Rock lobster. Of course, there's a rock. It's an action animal, rock lobster. <laughs> For love of all! Norway lobster. <laughs> okay. Yep. Yeah. Okay, I think I'm going to keep our staff as things are at the moment, since they are just the best at the moment. And we don't really oh, need yeah. people trained up too high. Hmm. And they're doing quite well, and we had... Especially the older version of we had Drano, who was exemplarily working well last time. 
Let's see, I'm going to keep saving that. So, switch over to price. Yeah, this one. Okay, we, we are <laughs> we are pretty set for this. Let's see, we could oh, even enhance it further. A thousand and eight servings for each. So, that's for each. <laughs> Every single set of that, we could have 8,000 profits. No. Mm. <laughs> it just remains fun. Yeah. If they decided to make a series out of this. I will watch it. Definitely. <laughs> like, it doesn't need to be pixelated. Just have this charm and this quality <laughs> to it. Okay, we could we could have up to 12 ser uh, servings of that. Or not 12. We could have that made 12 times and we only need 5. And let's see... Yeah, the only thing we're short on with that, or quote-unquote short, the, the thing that is <clears throat> where you have to least off are the Titan Triggerfish. Okay, there, that just deals with what we need it immediately. I think uh, I misheard you there. Hmm? Oh, my brain breaks it uh, said that you said the whole what Tigerfish. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. 185 Okay, we are low on the amount we are low on the type of <clears throat> seaweed that the dish wants, but I still think we could probably make some use out of that. Uh let's see. Yeah, we really don't need to upgrade anyone here. And I've been forgetting to send people out on <laughs> this patch again, haven't I? Um, Probably need to do that. Let's also let's get this checked off. Yeah, yeah apparently there are three species of seahorse that we haven't found either still. One here in the glacial zone, one at the th vents. Uh, see the pants? That is a. Uh, Kill! I got it right it? for the you first time. You said it right! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, a bunch uh, of nocturnal fish we haven't seen yet. And uh, uh, yes, people, I actually stopped myself in disbelief for <laughs> Helium in all these years struggled to say that fish name, even in Ark. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so proud of him. Let's well, double also, check at the, <clears throat> at the branch. So I just realized, why would you want to make a sushi of coelacant? It's really infamous for tasting bad. <laughs> well, that's one way to keep itself alive. Let's see. Hmm. And let's yeah, upgrade some people here a bit. May in the long run be a bit of a waste, but oh well, we've got 70k in the bank. Try to remember that it's good. I thought it's, they said it, it tasted fermented or it tasted bitter. Okay. Now, last time I said that we'd try to. We would ignore our sides and try to focus on the remote feeds on the branch here. I still have no idea how I accidentally opened it up each time because I was trying to open up the menu or just trying to act on something on, <clears throat> on our side with the shop. Uh, yeah, there. And then the last need upgrades is Dre. So let's see what this does. Rank 8 and 2 stars. 3 stars. Oh, and he has... A re he has a recipe in mind. Roasted Kaplan. Okay. And that pushed 
the, the max recipe uh, level up to rank 9. Let's Ooh. see. I should actually send over other ingredients because you are really low on mayo, which is used in your main sh you know, dish at the moment. It would be nice if we could actually see the menu from here. What are you talking hmm. about? I have two bottles of spicy mayo. I'm not low on mayo. <laughs> not you. <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> I think that kind of laugh. Let's see. Okay, that's really freaking cheap there with the cardinal sushi. Cardinal fish sushi, eight bucks. What the heck? The face hmm. on that thing. Actually, one easy way to check out what we could send over is by going to our own place. Looking whatever our second most you know, profitable dish is, and sending that, uh, yeah, sending a bunch of that over. Uh, I just realized how you are able to check on them. You said you're using a CCTV. It is. Oh, I see now here. Okay, I, I was. I must have scrolled over to here on accident. Wait, does that mean what we can? Okay, we can we can interact with them straight from here. Okay, that's useful. Oh, a camera. We just record up there. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Our best, second best dish at the moment is the deep fish tempura with cookie cutter shark, vampire squid, barrel eye, and kelp. Barrel eye. Hmm? Some of the fish names do sound like insults. Ink was your okay, Agnes. Yeah. Fear of Nitia. Visitor looking for the cats. Yeah, so Oh dear. <laughs> Okay, so it is to be New Year today. Uh, fireworks and such, so best to keep the cats indoors and such. Yeah. This probably okay. why I actually hope they do some progress with the vol holographic fireworks. Let's see. Cookie cutter, vampire, barrel eye, and kelp. Uh, yep. Yeah. Here. Okay, cookie cutter, where is it? Hmm. Now that I think about it, one more quality of life thing they could maybe add is to have us select dishes for the branch and then send over what is needed uh, <clears throat> based on that. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Okay, I like this artwork here they had done for the fishes. Yeah. <laughs> Good God. Let's see, rank 99. Uh, yeah. Cookie cutter, no, that's the spiny eels. Where are the ones that we want? I, I still think this thing looks stupid with that antenna thing. Yeah, people, I'm sure they figured out what it was for, not yet. But, uh, yeah, there was the don uh, Uncle Donka. Just look at this. Uh, Yours. That's, that's a solid sell. piece of bone. Okay, let's send over 20 of that, just to be certain. Okay. Then it was cookie cutter shark. <laughs> oh, I think I saw a bunch of the new crabs before I caught it last time. <laughs> Okay, it looks like it has an ass for eyes. Uh, I, I think more of it like it's trying to emulate a Sonic or something. Send over 20 of this. Oh, God. Okay, just vampire. <laughs> no, no, not vampire. Cookie the cutter. Uh, aberrations, which we can't keep, of course. Okay, send off. All of that. We'll have to go find more of those. And then just kelp. Which we're actually pretty low on, apparently. Okay. 
there. Now that should have them swap over to that as their... Yep, as their main dish. That should last them for a day or two, I think. Hopefully. <laughs> okay. No, we don't have anything more that we can use there. And yeah, see, what else can we remake on our end? Now, there's no real need to, since we have... Um, <clears throat> it seems that at the moment, the maximum amount of customers is 36. So, with 40, we have some to spare. Alright, uh, for you to make five for some reason. <laughs> I, I, I couldn't even make five if I wanted to, because they are made in servings of eight. <laughs> What was good? Only one menu for today. <laughs> yeah, it's still a varied uh, item since it's three different types of fish. Let's be honest, that, that, that's quite a meal. Clean those up. Okay, refill this. I like it even though we could technically just sit back and let the staff do everything, it still helps to do a little bit of work. Yeah. Hey. Hey. <laughs> you know, but he does do it. Hey. He keeps beating us to it. Okay, we'll do something useful then. <laughs> and not a single unsatisfied customer, it looks like. There we go. Oh yeah, we made a ton. Not even on the other ship bronze. I forgot we were we were supposed to keep an eye on them instead of doing stuff on our end. And yeah, yeah 36. Well, in, the, in the corner. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we keep beating that out, huh? Okay, they had 28 customers and... <laughs> okay. <laughs> Holy! Yeah, really good idea to put him in charge and to serve those. <laughs> and that shouldn't have even cost that much of the the fish because well they can make multiple servings out of yeah, yeah per each okay no oh, fong boy. look at the mm. mummy yeah he <laughs> left one one two yeah we're i think i think at this point we really could just uh train everyone up a ton and still make a bunch of money all the same yeah, I think you're supposed to in a in a steady pace. <laughs> for again, you could probably spend all your money to fully upgrade them, but that's a risk. True. Okay. So, it's definitely a game where you do, we need to do some risk and reward, like when you do all doing the fishing, but when you own the store itself. Nice and steady. Like, you don't yeah. rush it. Slow and steady, so you don't outspend your income and such. Yeah. <clears throat> but we can... Alright. Yeah, I can definitely argue with you. We can start uh, nice and steady upgrading them, like... Uh, uh, what the heck, I don't know. Look at the example. Like, uh, one level uh, per night or something? Uh, let's see. Okay, we need... Okay, we can extend the contract whenever we want. At the moment... Uh... Okay, how would we see how we where he would normally stop? Uh, anyways, though, it's it's still just a... Uh, select all of that. There. It's still very much worth it to, to hire him. Yeah. It, it helped us a lot. Yep. <laughs> okay, now they're calling out for the one cat that apparently is still on. Oh, there she is. She was under the bed, of course. 
<laughs> and the perfect way to, to lure her out is, of course, to shout that there's food. <laughs> oh, hungry, can you be hungry? I do wonder... Oh, do we really need to breed the... Wait, one of those must be for the... Dredge fish. But still leaves one remaining. Hmm. At, at the moment, we can't preserve uh, aberrated fish. Yeah, but it could be that could be if we extend. Uh, I don't think we. I'm not sure if we can get eggs from them. Then again, we didn't try to catch them alive. But maybe if we, maybe if you do the Red Mist Knights a certain amount of times, you could unlock it. I still doubt it a bit, but it's always yeah. a possibility. For otherwise, one has asked, what are the, are they planning to all the DLCs so that we unlock those two? Yeah, I think they more put them in there just in case they do expand things uh, with the DLC at sooner or later, which I do I do hope they do. Hmm. He especially now says he has got a very popular. Definitely. Okay. Time to hunt more <clears throat> Time to hunt more uh, lobsters. So large net gun. Uh, let's see. What do we need to upgrade that? There. Let's see. Pelican eel skin and topaz. Okay, pelican eels we can find in the uh, transition area to the glacial zone. It's the yeah. only place they spawn. Yeah, the, the topaz feel like the easy one. For, I think we have been trying to get that extra skin thing for the gun a while now. Let's see, scooter, ammo box, and the waterproof box. No real need for these anymore, since we, we can almost carry 20 times as much. Hmm. It's useful, though. True. Now, would it actually be better to have the harsh darts? Actually, in a way, I think we should get the box, since we are going for lobster. And... By all of this holy, I don't want to repeat from that certain incident. Yeah, okay. There. And they are dirt cheap as well. Yeah, like... Had it been more expensive, I would probably said no, but... We can afford it. Okay, speaking of affords, let's also plant some more... <clears throat> some more seaweed. This time, let's plant the one that's for the new d big dish. And also turn over that fridge, <laughs> turn over the seahorses over here, if I had <laughs> haven't forgotten to pull them out. Also, for some reason, I think there's a bit of a oddity with, <clears throat> with borderless gaming again, because for some reason, the Steam pop-ups are showing in the corner of the screen again, not in the corner of the game. So I might need to redo that a bit. But I, I don't see any pop-ups. Was, wasn't yeah, that that's... what you wanted it to, to not do? Uh, I, I, uh, spelling error. This weed. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I still, uh, I'd still like for achievement pop-ups to come up on, in game, not the pop-ups of uh, this person has come online, this person has started playing this. Those I don't want. That's why I would turn on Do Not Disturb mode every time, which I again forgot. But yeah, I'll just have to mess around until I can fix that again. All right, okay. I mean, you realize, what if that was not a typo? <laughs> it was after all the bladder whack uh, weed. <laughs> okay, some of these. Okay, and let's deliver that seahorse. <clears throat> I, I, I keep forgetting that we spawn in the middle. Okay. 
Register, Line Seahorse. Not as good as any of these Sea Dragon type, but still nice. Though I think at some point we might have to uh, release some of these. Hmm. So we do oh one race. Let's see. 104, 110. Do we have anyone who can beat that? No. Yeah, we, 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 have, we have some like, close to over 100, but we want like 94. This yeah. is not good enough. Oh uh, well. Hmm. Maybe there are some seahorses in the glacial zone that would work or would be strong enough. But I don't think we've seen many in there, or maybe I've just been catching them without really taking much note of them. Either the glacier or the abyssal part sounds bloody heck. Actually, yeah, I don't think I've ever heard of any prehistoric seahorses. There's probably a few. Yeah. Hmm. Anyways, looking pelican, for the pelican, pelican eel. Eel, pelican, pelican eel. Probably gonna uh, surprise try to eat you again, which they always try to do. <laughs> See? Yep. I told you. Okay, you're coming with me. And that's typically the only one that spawns. Ooh, you could skin! You could skin! <laughs> okay, I didn't notice that. So... Wait, wasn't that? Didn't that typically show up after we'd get out of the waters? Uh, oh, well. uh, no, it's you said you would be uh, 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 and yeah, you skin. <laughs> okay, that that is useful then. So either I either I just got that wrong before, or that's been changed as a quality of life thing, of which I will say. The developers of this just keep adding quality of life patches and such, huh? Yeah. Oh, bloody heck. I'm glad we got that for two pass. I feel like it's easier to find than random shons as a drop from a mob. Yeah. <laughs> like, I've been playing Racketeer a bunch lately, that item shop game that we showcased a good while back. And yeah, with one quest that gives you access to a new adventurer, it is based it is a, based a lot with random chance in the dungeoneering, of which oh, I have to say, uh, from what I've seen, the dungeoneering stuff isn't really worth spending time in because even in the second dungeon, uh, yeah, I was still finding crap that was only worth like eight hundred gold or such. And at that time, I could be making thousands just from buying stuff at the, the Merchants Guild and then reselling it at a, well, even at base uh, market price. I would, you would get a few uh, thousand profit out of that. So, yeah. Nice that it's there, but it's entirely not profitable. Oh, dear. All right, let's see here. I don't want to have a sword fight with you now. Yeah, what I do want it, it, is that. Oh, mine for us? No, uh, okay, Actually, not. Also, you do. You, you want to know uh, something interesting about Novolus? No. Oh. That's not a horn. Okay, it's supposed to be a long ass tooth. <laughs> Yeah, it's a tusk indeed. A tusk. Close enough. And they, they, there has been relatives we have, found, but they have pictures of uh, Norwalls with two. Okay, what Again? do you call that then? A duo wall? Uh, it's still, uh, still a Norwall, yes. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, they, they might be the, the only Currently living whale with tusk. Like there has been whales in the past with, that had tusk in the past. Some of them had the tusk pointed backwards, uh, not fro uh, forwards. Oh, hello, sea dragon. But yeah, it's 
I think they are probably currently only current whales with tusks. Alright. Let's see. Let's look around for... Wait, is that... <laughs> no, for, for a moment I thought there was a jade statuette here. Uh, no, it's just black pepper. And I'm reminded again that... <laughs> okay. Yeah, one New Year's uh, thing I can say right here, then, that I'm trying to go for... Get <laughs> Try some hot pepper tuna dish. Oh dear, a golden king cra You can became a king slayer! <laughs> oh well. Now, what do we have here? A bunch of horse hair, crabs, and snow crabs. Give me that. You want a lobster? Hmm. Yeah, I might actually need to check our stocks with that for the party. But I think we should still have a decent amount. Yeah. I'm guessing the lobsters appear more likely in the shallower waters. Because I'm not sure if they could survive in frigid ice like this. Well, they can live in icy areas, but that I know from a, from some shows on Discovery or such, I believe. Yeah. Dude, I'm not as sure as if the all lobsters in glacier areas, they're probably very far down. Probably. Hmm. Yeah, there's some rocks, and there's one of those things. Okay. Plump you down. Let me go have some prehistoric lobster. I would not be surprised if sea scorpion count as lobster here for some reason. Got dead in the bag. Look at the thing. I can see someone selling plushies of those to kids. <laughs> it does look a bit derpy as well. Well, yeah, get in the box. Easy design to do a plush off. There we go. And yeah, there have been these little guys all over the place down here, though I don't think those count as seahorses. Uh, I think those more like a prehistoric shrimps. Here comes one of these stupid little things. <laughs> and apparently it has short-term memory problems. Yeah, okay. Th there's one that's called the Tolly Monster. I forgot what his actual name is, but when they, when they first time uh, displayed it, all, all of a sudden they thought it was a joke. I did realize, wait, it's real. <laughs> it, it, it's basically have a armored body like a lobster, you could say. Oh, sort of. But no limbs. Two eye stalks for eyes and a long, long uh, trunk that ends with a pair of pincers. Okay, I can see why people thought they were being choked on. Yeah, and uh, yeah, that, again, early life force were very alien. Yeah. Let's grab some of this. The other box is done. Uh, let me think. <laughs> I think I, I, I think I almost went over here out of uh, ultimate, yeah, uh, basically automatically from the habits. But we can get some special uh, uh, lobsters and crabs down here. Oh. I, I it, do it, wonder it, what those count as. I think we may have found a lobster there. Hmm. Let's check the inventory. Uh, yeah, to my cat. Those could be lobsters, if you're okay. lucky. They look a bit uh, snail-like, but we can check the menu at uh, this restaurant to ask for what actually counts as lobster. Yeah, I, I hope there is some way they tell us you don't accidentally... Like, if you go with shellfish term, then... It will be crab, lobster, shrimp. But when you go to specific lobster, like lobsters and crawdads, 
that's the point you would probably want some specific, especially when you have put an area with prehistoric life. Yeah. Either way, we've or used all of our traps. So let's see if we can catch anything with the darts. I'll take that. And but you still have the sword, right? I hope. Yeah, I have it here. Oh, I don't think we can. Don't think we can. <laughs> we can stun that with it, though. Frozen card. Drink. Okay, I will pick a fight with you. Uh, wait. We, we, we don't have anything that can carry away that big uh, one. Uh, in big uh, one piece, do we? Uh, we captured drones, but I'm more worried about actually fighting with it. There. Because I don't think we can beat it without getting our own ass beat two, <laughs> two ways to Sunday. Um, and so Sunday speaking, today. So yeah, it, it would literally beat us into the next year then. Yeah, actually we can try, just let's do this first. Oh, wait, we already went up on 10 kilos already. Yeah, those are crap, so let me try these. Let's see, nine and a half, two kilos, and put in some of this. There. Okay, but that is just... <clears throat> that's just as, as much insurance as we can get at the moment. Yes, I still don't want to pick a fight with... Oh, hello. Oh, I think the pile of rocks over there has moved. So let's check with the camera. I didn't. Haven't, haven't we done this before? Uh, no. Uh, it's the seal can't. Yeah. Okay, come on. Damn it. And there it goes. Okay, this one is annoyingly tricky to catch on camera. Now, they've gone before I could take a picture. Maybe next time. I wonder how often that respawns or resets. Yeah, that, that one was bloody quick. Okay. <clears throat> no need for that. Okay, we've got two more darts. There's a bit of ammo laying around, but I don't want to spend too much time just going after small stuff. There. And yeah, we have we have done our main goal of the dive, which is to get as much well from the crab traps as possible. He just turns around and immediately gets speared again. There we go, used up those as well. I'm pretty sure we should have breeding pairs of that species now as well. Hopefully, the more breeding pair we have, the better. Mm. Uh. Hmm. Is that going to work? Because, yeah. Well, at least on the bigger aggressive fish, those, those really don't tend to work that well. And uh, wait, did I pick up ammo somewhere? Because we have three at the moment. Oh well. Can I stun? Actually, I think I've tried that before. That doesn't work, I think. Yeah. Uh, miss. Okay. Get here, you aquatic kite. Yep. And it gets killed by the aftershock. Oh well. And you also got a snailfish. You killed a snailfish as well. 
Throw the skate. Yep. <clears throat> I still have no clue where that stupid statuette is supposed to be. Hmm. I'm pretty sure I didn't sell it or anything. But oh well. I guess we. <laughs> I guess we will never know what that uh, eco watcher's bag is. You know, will do. I get the feeling it's just going to be a joke item or something. Yep. Or it gives you more inventory, for all we know. This will not be bad. Ooh. Hello there. Do we have... Let's see. Sword by amounts. Glacial zone. Yeah, we we have uh, enough of you. Plus, we, we bullied poor beagles before already in the last stream. Yeah... So let's this just head on out. Hello. Okay, to the boats. To the boots. Mm. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's keep that. We'll deposit it next time we're in the village. And yeah, let's see some more row from a few, from at least one crab species, it seems. And in one row of the new thing, actually, yeah, we should investigate if that new thing we found uh, it counts as a lobster or not. Yeah. First, out, let me take a look here. Net gun. Yeah, three more toe pass for the steel net gun. Here we can crap, cap, yeah, capture, capture spider crabs and such. <laughs> okay, quick check at the sushi bar. Okay, now it's said in that loading bar tip about the number. Hello. <laughs> Why are you here? Oh yeah, you you visit on certain days. Yeah. Secret recipe. A hard one ultimate cooking recipe that Django obtains. Open it to learn its secrets. Okay. Truffle blue lobster tail sushi. Blue lobster's tail with truffle sauce. The powerful aroma of the truffle sauce goes well with the smooth taste of the lobster. All right. Oh, you cool that that outfit. <laughs> Truffles, I think we can only get that from him. And we might as well get some of that in this. It's so cheap, so what? We'd be dumb to not buy this. Alright, it's cheap for us currently. Hmm? Hmm? A recipe I haven't seen before. Django has been traveling to various places to collect recipes and now selling the ones he acquired. I've brought, I've bought one and it's pretty unique. If the customers will like it. And even if it don't, it, it can serve as inspiration for Bancho. <laughs> Mochi wants uppies. I don't think if you get another cat, you're gonna end up naming them Moshi. Maybe. Uh, let's see. Yep. Forgot what we were. I forgot to do what we went there to do. So let's return quickly. Yeah, for we wanna investigate. For if that other thing counts as a lobster, and we can go for them. Yeah, they're basically. Yeah, they will be uh, part of the hunt. Let's see. Eastern Rock Lobster. Is that the first one I just noticed, or did I just miss some? Let's see. Okay, so that one does count as lobster. All right. Let's see. Yeah, and then we have the Eastern Rock. Okay, not that one. Hmm. They're pretty cheap. So it definitely won't. Be, uh, it won't be a high profit day, I think. Well, hmm. the, uh, don't we get bonus from them? Maybe. Let's see. 
Is there no other dishes that we can make with those? Um, might as well upgrade some of these to their maximum, since we have an overabundance of fish. We've seen this one before now, but <laughs> still. <laughs> yeah. I think it, it, it's in a rare occasion we skip it. Bonju is the one we never skipped. <laughs> also, is it just me or the outside? Maybe I'm just noticing it now, but to me it looks like the. I think before. The coastline there was in, done in pixel style as well, but since the Dredge DLC, it seems to have been moved to 3D. Because the area is now also made in 3D. Hmm. Oh, sure. We're available in 3D. Hmm. Oh, hello. Yeah, Blue Lobster. And then we have Yawi's... Okay, that counts as... Okay, it, yeah, it was a big fucking lobster, but... <laughs> don't think we can redo that. Nanta shrimp. Hmm. Do we have... Just no full dishes other than basic sushi? With those? And we have this here that we can see. Lobster stir-fried with habanero sauce. Always wear gloves when breaking the shell or your hands will burn. Okay. And then there's a few more. Let's see. Crystal lobster roll. A sushi roll made with minced crystal lobster meat. It looks too good to be eaten. Hmm. Let's see. 15, 20... We don't have any crystal lobsters. We do have a good amount of these, though. So let's research this. And honestly, I think I would have far less of an issue with uh, minced up lobster and stuff. I think with, for me, part of why I don't like shellfish is because uh, it's not as processed, I guess. Like with with beef, chicken, and such, you just have it already in slabs and such, so you don't need to tear... Well, I don't like drumsticks either, where you have to tear it off the bone. So, yeah, I guess I just don't want anything hard near the meat to begin with. I don't mind the, the bone or chicken leg, but if I have a steak and there's a bone on it, I would prefer to take, remove the bone. Then, so that bone will get in the way of the knife. Or am I being bite into a bone shard? Yeah. Let's see. Norway lobster, 130 to 250 meters. That is our... Yeah, that that is our choke point on this recipe at the moment. I actually, wait. Four servings each. So we have an... Okay, with this we could serve 80 people. Hmm. <clears throat> We get 36 at our place, always, and about 26 at the branch. Let me do a quick check here. Uh, oh, right. We need to think about the branch as well. Like, okay. Maybe those things that are, you call, like those prehistoric ones, could be worth getting as well, just for two fruit into the branch. A branch info. Let's see. So, also, we, yeah, I think we need every, every lobster we can get. Okay, so 28, 36, 50, 64 people ab about every night. So we, sh we have enough to feed that amount of people, even if everyone who comes in wants the, <clears throat> wants the lobster dish. But we can still upgrade a little bit more. So yeah. let's see. So we, yeah, we gonna need to have more lobsters. Again, as many as possible. Let's enhance it again. And actually, I think this, in this case, just getting extra creamy pear would help a lot as well. Yeah, if we don't have that already. Okay, Norway lobster. 
Oh, and before I forget... Send the old stuff to... This patch. Yeah, there we go. Let's see, what are we low on? 14... Actually, vinegar... Or, or, no, olive oil is what something... Yeah, let's send half of you... Oh, the Vina is good on that. For mayo... And the rest will send out for the other. Miso. Yeah, that should be about balanced. Okay. Now, back to the boat and back to lobster hunting. So, we start at the top. Let's put. Uh, yeah, let's see. We want more tubas, and we want a lot more lobster. Yeah. Let's might as well grab this for a bit of speeding up. Let's see. I'm thinking on how. To, well, we still have a. We still have a lot of time, actually. It's two full days. Hmm. Uh, yeah. I'll take the. I'll take the dart gun. Get something live. Put it in the in the crab traps, and see what we get out of that. Long spine scroll fish. I'm not sure we've seen that one ever before. Yeah, I never heard of a squirrel fish. Hmm. Give me that. Always useful. Okay. Oop. Actually, your meat would probably be really good for bait. Okay, a chunk of meat probably yes for... Do I suspect if the, that sank to the bottom, lobsters will be all over it. You miss. Okay. Good thing that I picked up that bottle, because I'm going to need it. Yeah, this is why Helium don't like the treasure shark. They're very good at beating him up. Just carve it up because we need the meat now. Rank nine meat. And, and, hmm. Actually, if we had sent in the drone, would it have counted us as having the meats, or would it have gone straight to the shop or to the restaurant? Oh, straight to the shop. Also, use that. Okay. And Oscar's return to, <laughs> to sit down on the backpack. Go to sleep, you bloody trigger fish. I uh, don't know where, where, where to go with that joke. So I do know one thing I should have uh, done. I, I think I forgot it a few days ago to do. Who? I miss you, better. Nope. I almost messed up that one. I wish you were Mary Fishmas. Uh, no, no, not that one. Another one I think you heard me do last year. I wish him with a blood... No, but how what did it go again? My little joke version. Oh yeah, well, I, guess the I wish a bloody then. carnage. I wish a bloody carnage and a bloody new year. Let's see. Yeah, Atlantic Anglerfish, Big Eye Trevale. Wait, is that not these right here? Okay, was it Mary Cornet or Bloody Cornet? I forgot which one it was. A big Eye Trevale. <laughs> Perfectly timed. Nice. I don't actually remember. Yep, there's another one, just to be certain that we get the row. Yeah, and they were wondering... I don't know if I heard some row, but I think there's some random... Parody I just came up with as a joke. It was basically just lyric and not the entire song that I was saying as a joke. Yeah. So, it's going to be a had dead we end been, here. Had we done to do what do, do, do today and been uh, chaos? That probably wouldn't be a very fitting song. <laughs> Definitely, yeah. So at that point, I would probably have been wearing a corn armor with a Santa hat on. <laughs> uh, yeah, we missed that chance. Yeah. So I'm going off of my 
again, admittedly poor memory here, but I think the corn campaign is uh, is pretty fun, or at least in the interactions between the characters, because well, they're <laughs> they're chaos, uh, <laughs> they're chaos warriors. Of course, they're going to be looking to backstab each other at every single opportunity they can. Yeah, I think he meant chaos, not corn. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> close enough. <laughs> okay. Oh dear. Now, let's find ourselves some hiding spots for crabs to lure out. And actually, I, I, I probably should have brought the uh, the net gun if we're going here anyways. Well, we all but, to uh, well. upgrade it with more tobas when we get the chance. True. And for that, I think we should probably try and you know, give a visit to the glacial area just to see if we can get that three lost bits. Well, for all I was kind of hoping you were to do that. Okay. To, to be honest, it feels a bit weird to be going on a lot, a lot more shorter dives because it's been our style since the beginning to try and get as much as possible most of the times, huh? Yeah. The visual is helping a lot. I do think it's probably good to do as much as possible. Especially for the festival ones. Definitely. We're not going down, we're not going up too early, I'd say. But definitely, we are, we are, our dives are more focused, I think would be a way to say it. We go in with a yeah. specific idea instead of just grabbing all that we can. Yeah, the, when it comes to lower level fish, we are definitely solid on that one since that the great like man. Not only those. So I can just grab whatever I want here. And just as I nail this thing, of course, the, the, tra the, the trap is done. I think I'm just going to call them traps. Because with crap trap, I get the feeling I will eventually just trip over my own tongue with something. Let's see, Norway lobsters. And some Eastern Rock Lobsters. It's the Norway ones we want, I think. I think we want all lobster we can get. True, but the I'll Norway think... one is the one most profitable at the moment, I think. Yeah, but it's really good to have some variety. Yeah, of course. And I think uh, there was a special recipe with Rock Lobster. Okay. I almost didn't spot you there. Cookie cutter shark, we are short on you. So... Yeah, that's the way the cookie crumbles for you. You're going in the bag. Not so big I think I had two and a few times. And these was on oh, nasty. Wait, I, I can't... <clears throat> so the you just walk up, swim up to something, and, be, and bite a cookie-shaped piece of them and swim away. Hmm. And then you go stun that to underwater radar on submarines. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, those things had cost me a few millions in repairs each year. Give me that. Uh, I'm getting a little... Oh, we need that for the sleep dart upgrades. I'm getting a bit annoyed how we get some stuff that we don't really need anymore, if we have no use for anymore. Like... When we have the, when we have this charm equipped that lets us get through the two worm tunnels without a flashlight, it removes the, uh, it removes the flashlight from the drop rate or from the drop table. But that pickaxe can still get dropped even though we have our, <clears throat> our knife upgraded to the point where it's completely obsolete. Get through. Doing... Unless there are all limits to the knife? Maybe, maybe that I'm not aware of. Maybe there's a bigger chance for... Actually, no, we... there's only a chance for more stuff with the... with one of the charms. Okay. Put some good eating in there. Where is... There is the Thresher Shark Meat. Yeah, it's, it's only with one of the charms that we have a chance for extra resources from the me <clears throat> from the uh, ore deposits. And that's only on the first hit still, I believe. 
Another brittle. This is kind of eh. Yeah. Of a bonus. Each hit, fair, but only on the first hit. Well, at least as far as we've noticed. Okay, I thought I saw a seahorse or something off to the sides. Okay. It's going to annoy the local... <clears throat> the local wildlife whilst we wait for the trap to be done. <clears throat> now, speaking of crabs and traps, crab fishing... Uh, even the big scale uh, crab fishing is just basically just a bigger version of this. Like, I'm guessing you've probably seen an episode of uh, Deadliest Catch at some point or another. Yeah, and it's not an easy job for they have lost money because they cut, they threw out the wrong crab or kept the wrong crab. And it would cost them fines and such. Yeah, like crabs that are out of season for which they get fined if they catch those. They are all worse. Crabs that are forbidden due to uh, endangerment. Yep. <laughs> okay, no rocks to put the trap here. So that's honestly the only thing I care about at the moment. Big boy there. Well, he can run his mouth at something else. You know what I think if you had done that would be funny? Hmm? If you can trick Drew to accidentally swallow the licking ears and stun them that way. <laughs> that would be funny, yeah. Okay, okay these will still oh. move away from us, but we can still get stung by them if we're impatient like that. Yeah, but yeah, it still feels a bit weird that they somehow are immune to them. And electric shock on the water will probably still be very unpleasant at that close range. Yeah. Yep. Miss. By unpleasant, I mean outright deadly, people. Definitely, yeah. I think it has a lot, a lot bigger of a chance of affecting your heart on the water as well. Oh boy. I'm guessing we'll find one more spot to the left here. Then we go through the <clears throat> then we go through the village to the glacial zone, see if we can nab ourselves some topaz, and then this dive is done. Be a nice toy, but not really useful at the moment. Up oh, there we go. And of course one of these little peasants is guarding it. Let's see, what do we put in here? Because we're out of the best foods. Let's see. I'm not going to put one lobster in to get another out. Uh, that's probably be rather unwise. Do we sacrifice the little guy? Uh, why not? On the next dive, I should double check if what we select actually has an effect on uh, what is being shown on the right side, because I've only been really looking on the left side of that so far. It might give a hint as to possible rewards for each or such. And we'll get you next time, and... Wait. I no, <laughs> Okay, this is opal, not topaz, as I was thinking for a moment. Uh, still good stuff. Uh, probably, I would not be surprised we need opal late for something. Yeah, better to have than to need to go find it. Okay, those things are here. What's that glittering over there? Glass? Or were you looking at something else? Uh, yeah, something you were need back here earlier, uh, uh, back there. It seems like there's something between the rocks there, or well, right ahead. Yeah, it's a f just a fragment. Oh. Okay. Trap is done. Let's go collect, get up serve some topaz, and be done. I just realized something. Hmm? 
You have made a crab pun. <laughs> Three lobster, okay. And high quality ones at that. I'm pretty nice. sure we have a breeding pair of those at the very least. Well, I have more. Also, <laughs> can use this to speed things up a bit. Hmm. Let's see. If they... Okay, that was completely accidental on avoiding that one. <laughs> I didn't notice it until I saw the, the pop-up. Yoink. Here we go. Okay. Just passing through. <clears throat> Alright. No need for the seed shop. It's it's actually a little bit uh, unneeded anymore since we can access it from the fields directly. But still nice that it's there as an option. Yeah. And her animation... Every character's animation is good. Yeah. If, Just... I, I was talking about the seed shop, not Mima's place. Wait, okay, now I'm confused. <laughs> The, the leftmost building where <laughs> where the, the sea farmer is. Yoink, yoink, yoink. And oh. done. Oh, see? Seed shop. <laughs> what is your seed shop? Okay, that's all we needed. So, to the boat. And that should be another day done. Or am I getting my time wrong with this? Yep, there we go. Okay. All of that over. We only have about a half an hour or do. It's up to you if you want to continue a bit longer. <laughs> uh, we'll see. For now, at the very least, we're upgrading this thing. So here we go with this lunacy again. I don't remember this one. Uh. Yeah, I do remember that one. What the <laughs> heck? That's because it's only the second time we've seen this because, well, that's the second time we've upgraded a weapon to its maximum. Wait. Oh no. I think I know what happened. I was away grubbing something when you did that first time, wasn't I? <laughs> Maybe. Also, apparently these have their own unique components that we'd need to find on the the night the on the red mist nights. Oh. Okay. No need for anything else, really. There's certainly no need to make a smaller net gun. Okay. Let's head on over. And prepare for another night. Though... Hmm. Maybe we could... Maybe we should do some more night dives, because there are still a lot of species that we haven't found in the night. It... Hmm. It... Don't get me wrong, isn't Crowder Lobs just very easy to hunt at night or something? Not sure. Actually, are there any... Are there any species here? Yeah, let's see. Crab Trap. Okay, we know nothing about these. But maybe some of them are nocturnal. Yeah, uh, what the heck is that one? Uh, which one? Uh, Do you want to look like a disc? This one? Yeah. What the heck is hmm. that? Not a clue. So I'm going to presume that's not that's not fur. Okay, so bit of night diving then. Yeah, for we are doing very good economically, so I think yeah. we can handle a, a, a at least one night dive. A few, like we. 
Uh, let me double check. How much does it cost to run the place at the moment? 4,000 about each. Uh, do we get the same on this or... Actually, no. I think with the branch, we only... Do we actually have running costs with the branch or not? I don't think we do. I think she helped us with that part. Hmm. She wants to help us open it. Yeah. Hmm. <clears throat> Okay, so the branch is just plain uh, profit as long as we can supply it with food. And actually, I'm, I'm presuming that the cost of everyone's salary there is is counted in here. Yeah, for... So still uh, only 10% loss on salaries and such is a really good. Oh, dear. Okay, now... One more check. Let's see, marine con. And yeah, not the depths, the shallows. Are there any specific night fish over here that we are lacking of? No, it, we have found every species in the shallows. We haven't live captured all of them yet. But still. Uh, let's see, medium depth, we have everything as well. Hmm. Where are these? Let's have uh, no bet. All the nocturnal ones are over here. <laughs> we have captured all the day fish in all three depths. Yep. Glacial passes as well. Glacial zone, we're missing one still here. I I is a pod. Hmm. And I'm guessing this one technically. Is that one counted? It's darkened out somewhat. Hmm. Wait, there's... There's one we not found. Oh, wait, that's a seal account. That's seal account, yeah. That's photo only. And yeah, all of these aberrations. I'm curious if there's some way that we can speed up the amount of times that the red mist comes in. Or maybe it, there's a pattern to it. I hope that it, that it will come out around often. Let's see. Hmm. Do we go with the net gun or the dart gun? It, it probably would be nice to use the net gun a bit. At yeah. least for a good test drive. Uh, any last things you can sell us? Uh, no, you won't sell us anything at night, apparently. Okay, here we go. All right, are we, you, you know, uh, wait, uh, where are we going for the night fishing? We can't go too deep down, so we'll just grab whatever we can over here. Plus, maybe there are some crab species, you know, crab and lobster species that only come out at night. Um, all right. I want to say, is the music different? But now I recognize it. Yeah. It's not the dredge music, but it's still uh, more eerie than the usual. Yeah. Still beautiful, though. Okay, I'm pretty sure we haven't seen these... these before. And that's... Oh, yep. <laughs> They're annoyed at us. Okay, <laughs> this is only the sole survivor. Oh, that's the long spine squirrel fish. Okay. <laughs> Angry little buggers. And All of you get in the bag. Okay, no interest in that. <laughs> okay, well, at least we got a good amount of them right away. Hopefully even... Uh, hopefully even a breeding pair. Okay. Listen, all this light is wonderful underwater. It looks pretty. But you will still not make me dive into it in real life. Yeah. Ooh, black tip. Let's see. Nocturnal. Box jellyfish. Zebra. Let's do that quick. Let's see. Manta ray, which you only have photos. Big lipped batfish, this stupid thing. <laughs> okay, so we're looking for the Hubble squids, the box jellyfish, and the zebra shark. 
Okay. Let's try and avoid conflicts where possible. Because they are going to be more aggressive. What is that pulse? It, that sounded like there was something pulsing of sorts, huh? And what are the... <laughs> If there's something pulsing, I'd be concerned. Clear fin linefish. Okay, a new variant. Yes, yes, please do grow up, you two. There we go. <laughs> hmm. Actually, we're, we're basically firing the same nets oop, as the uh, the net trap. So could we actually use this to capture tuna? Hopefully. Something there. Just a fragment. Okay. Copper. Some baits. I haven't seen any crab spots yet, so they might not come out at night at all, but that'll still be a lesson learned, even if that is the case. Yoink! <laughs> Definitely getting a breeding pair of these as well. Okay. Otherwise, it's just bad luck if you don't. Puffer. Okay. Oop, another one. Yeah. Long spine porcupine fish, that was? We're getting a lot of new fish here. Are they gonna. We haven't. Re this is like only the fourth or so night dive that we've done? Uh, I think we have done more, but not that many. More than four. I can easily say we have, I think we've done more than four. Okay. Maybe six or seven? Did I'm not going to look back through the records just to count, but certainly uh, less than 10 at the absolute max. Yeah, that I can agree on, and also, good luck, you know how many episodes there are. Yeah. <laughs> like uh, I said, I'm not going to look back through. Oh, I thought you said you were. <laughs> it's the zebra, I think, down there. Yoink, and a yoink. What the heck are you talking about? Zebras underwater? And the zebra shark down there. And that's a crab spot. So there might actually be nocturnal crabs. Let's see. Rank. Yeah, let's put the urchin in. That makes for decent bait. Okay. What the heck? Hmm? Oop, that's something I big spawning. Water pouring uh, uh, outside. <laughs> okay. I can't tell if it's raining over here. Now I hear fireworks. Yeah, ammo box. A lot of fireworks. Okay, so some kids are starting early. Yeah, but. Mm. What the? This, this is not... Nobody will be maybe one or three or something like that. It's still going on! Okay, at least it's not coming over your mic. Yeah, luckily enough. But yeah, it's a barracuda, not a saber. That was not a small amount. Hmm, could have been one of those big boxes. I think with that, but as well, but I don't think so. I guess uh, someone being uh, normally since the pandemic they have been coming down with the fireworks, but normally otherwise you'll be hearing fireworks from December to Christmas, uh, to New Year and after New Year, of course. I guess someone some decided to save up them to blow them up early on New Year instead. Could be. 
There we go. One more rail, not Barracuda. I got it wrong. <clears throat> anyway. Wait, you mistook a Murray for a Barracuda? Yep. <laughs> oh, There's the Blue Lobster. Ah, oh, so the Blue Lobster is a night one. Okay, grab you. We have no intention of taking off the shark here. Actually, maybe I do. <laughs> okay, it turned away. This is rather close quarters for a fight. There we go. Ooh. And those little bastards. Give me that back. Okay, now before this sinks away... There. Okay. Hmm. I don't think we can go too much deeper than this. But still, let's explore all that we can. See if we can find some other crab spots. Uh, <laughs> speak of the, speak of the crabby devil. Ooh, even we found two. There. Oh, and oh yeah, I missed this one. Okay. <laughs> the wreckage kind of camouflages it a bit. Okay. More urchins to feed. How many times can we usually tra uh, traps each uh, dive? Three times, and that's numbers two and three. And uh, we still can go down here, but no further than this zone, I believe. Yeah, the, the depths, the, the true depths of the blue hole are too dark, even with our lights. Yoink. Okay, it's like we're bullying the smaller brothers of the lionfish, of the red lionfish with this. Um... I just happen they don't roar like lions. It's a white so, tip. I feel like we missed the opportunity to have that as a, a gag. A running gag that every time you get chased by lionfish, we play lion sounds. <laughs> Uh, that, that reminds me of something, uh, maybe something that is already known, but cheetahs and other medium cats, I think would be the best description, uh, they don't actually roar, they, <laughs> it's more like they chirp if you hear them. Yeah, I, I think only cheetah does that. Okay, the traps are done. I probably should use that. One thing that I do notice is that there seems to be a lot less uh, oxygen spots during the night as well. Which, well, it's supposed to be more dangerous, so adding that in as well is a good point yeah. on that. You, you do have a lot of it still. <laughs> okay, that is because I just refilled it, but the, still... Uh, yeah, like... Early on, I would say night fishing is a very big gamble. <laughs> okay, that was really freaking generous on that. I should have taken more dam. I should have taken damage from that. Yeah. Oh yeah. I think uh, night fishing is a bit more easy to do the, the more upgrades you have. Yeah, that's just with the this game in general and basically any RPG. Yeah. Okay, I've picked a fight with one shark. I'm not going to do it with another one. Okay, and now we're back almost to the surface. So yeah. let's head down as much as we can. See what we can find. Yeah, let's grab as <laughs> much night fish as we can and what else. Sounds well, well, let's well bring as much, uh, much up as possible. Some white shrimp. I think with some of the shrimp and such, they 
you can only really find them by scraping along the ground to basically scare them out of their hiding holes. But that might just be my how <laughs> that might just be because I'm not noticing them when they're closer to the floor. Some kelp. Hmm. Any amount will help. Hmm. And I just realized something. Oh, <laughs> I just real I, I just realized I was an idiot earlier with the pulsing sound earlier. It was from all the freaking little fish that we found we 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 caught with the net because it kept popping up in the upper corner there. Right, that makes sense. And also how many times do you think they've been saying in this series every little bit helps? Plenty of times, I believe. Enough to make it a drinking contest? <laughs> Maybe. Don't do it, people. Just don't. All right. Seems a bit thin on fish in this area. They're probably too tight to deal with that. Yeah, let's just leave the cave. Hmm. Yeah, I still find it a little bit odd that the limestone cave is the only... <clears throat> is the only... Uh, yeah, random region. Oh, those are Barracuda. That we can Let's find in the game. Huh? Okay, group you two up. And there we go. Yeah, it's, it's still a bit odd that there's only one uh, region like that that randomly spawns, but I guess they either didn't want to add too much randomization to the regions or what areas could spawn. Uh, or for, maybe or just they didn't have any other ideas, really. I think it might be a balanced reason for you want to get to be able to have some famil familiarity. True. And adding too many va va different variants would probably make the game a little bit too hard. And plus, it would it would lower the chance of other things spawning. Indeed. Drink. I just says they have added so many things already, spear like the squid. fish one and all. Wait, what? A spe there was another new species caught. Bee squid? Yep. That doesn't mean that much. Okay, we need to find Hubbled squid still. And or, is uh, oh, that speaking of... of Someone throwing space squids at each of Hillian's legs. No kissing on the first date. I think there's uh, Humboldt Squid to defense to that. <laughs> well, it can think on that all the way over to the sushi bar. It, it, you, you know what would be, it, be funny to add to that little drone thing? What? Police sirens. <laughs> You're under arrest. Uh, oh wait, actually, for being that, too that, tasty. That, actually, wait, what? For being too tasty. Yeah, and it's like that. Probably you get dog. You you get arrested and sent to become sushi. Uh, yeah, that. It, it, anyway, that's like that sounds dark, doesn't it? Yeah. Accidental dog humor. Now, is there any ammo around here somewhere? Then I can catch some of those barracudas alive. Oh dear gods. Okay. Sometimes I find myself fun, but those moments I end up uh, thinking of you, I end up actually scaring myself in my own yoke. Let's see, we're back in the shallows. Any ammo somewhere around here? Uh, Out there. Question. Um, okay. Okay. I look at time here. Up to you. Do you want us to go to uh, 1730 or end in five? Hmm. 
I think we could probably call it after this dive. And let's oh. try and get them bounced up a bit. Now, I still want to do some stuff at the stores before I need to head off. I, I was got you need to go to the store, yeah. yeah. Not really need to, but more just want to, so I'm stocked up on snacks. <laughs> True sense. Stores it's going to be a long time till midnight. Yeah, and uh, we both know stores on the two days after the new year can I be a little bit iffy. Yeah. Okay, that's the timer going off. Another spear squid. I'll grab that. No zebra uh, shark sightings. We had one earlier. That's yeah, no, not these are what was of course it's not registered here because it's not only nocturnal, but those things we have a breeding pair of, I'm pretty sure. Another spear squid. We're definitely getting a pair of you. Okay, this upgraded gun is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of want to go test out all the things that I can catch with it. It's probably basically anything short of shark-sized. Oh, this is a very small shark. Like, you could, you could cut the shark as a shark. Yeah. Okay. Wait, so technically we could go down further, but it would take too long to get back up, I'm guessing what they mean with that. Okay. Hmm. Okay, apparently Glacier Boy is bo playing both uh, the Lord of the Rings online as well as the Elder Scrolls online at the same time. Yes, I saw that. I'm not sure what that's about. It could also be in the misclick or something. Maybe. Hello. You are... You are very aggressive for your size. I'm pretty sure Dave could sit on you and kill you. Devil scorpion fish. Okay. Oh, so it might be deceptively dangerous. Yeah. Especially something called uh, named after a scorpion is probably going to be venomous. I, I, keep forgetting what, I keep forgetting what the difference between poison and venom is. Uh, okay. Venom is from a, 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 a... The animals have venom. Poison hmm. is uh, something you make okay. uh, from plants and all that. I think I saw a joke uh, along those lines somewhat recently, like, uh, don't worry, it's not poisonous, but it is extremely venomous. <laughs> I, I, I feel like I have that line in some cartoons and such. Uh, but for the point of, well, if it is dangerous or not, it's just only a point of semantics, but still. <laughs> well, if you think about it, a rat can still kill a person. True, if it were to get extremely lucky with its biting and such, and even through, yeah, indirectly through, uh, yeah, disease and such. Oh, hello there, big boy. I don't think or... I can capture you in the net. Or if a case of a sample being extremely sick, take a bucket, put a, rat, a, a few rats into the bucket, tie the bucket to you so they are trapped. You, you know what happens when you do that to rats, right? Yeah, they'll try to dig their way out. I think I've seen it. I, th I, I, I think I've heard the, that come up with the Mythbusters when they were. Uh, Testing tor or they were thinking about uh, testing torture techniques or something, though that would be more a way of execution than torture. Uh, I think you would be able to save them before it goes that far, but yeah, it's not a good method. It's, it, it, actually, all torture is brutally horrible, to be honest. Yes. Some are more unnecessary than others. Yeah. 
Okay, time to head uh, on uh, out. Like, the other ones are just horrifying and painful and just cruel in that way. Then you have those horrible, terrifying and painful and outright useless. Yeah, since the whole point about torture, typically, is to, well, not kill the subjects. <clears throat> yeah, don't do to torture people, just don't, it's not good. It's oh, that's world. the most amount of fish we've gotten in one go. Holy... Let's see... Oh, oh, come on. All of those captured live and we get only one row. Clearly, we got a pair with those. Or, oh, wait. For some reason... No, that's a porcupine fish. For some reason, they some they get put us separately at times for some reason. Is it so, quality? Hmm, oh. Red-banded lobsters, we have a pair. Like from paracudas, spearfish. Not with the devil scorpion fish, though, so we should do a few more night dives in the future. <laughs> oh, dear. But for now, let's head on over to Bonchos, and we'll call it a night there. Uh, not a night, a, a day there, but still. <laughs> you say a day? Okay. Well... That was a productive uh, yeah, that was a productive stream with this, so save as always, just for absolute certainty. And then we double up. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I I'm still loving this game. It's it really is Same. it really is just really good with its pacing. That there, most of the time there is still something for you to do. Like in the post, in the solo post story stream, the videos that I recorded for YouTube, I did get a bit bored at the end, but that was before the new stuff got patched in and such. And I was basically just grinding out, trying to catch, uh, <clears throat> trying to catch breeding pairs. So yeah, that, that wasn't going to be too interesting for my uh, for me anyways with that. <laughs> yeah, and you did it without me. True. It's probably. Okay. Like, I feel like part of this is kind of fun because, well, we both over here, uh, both over here, as uh, all of that. <laughs> yeah. Now, shall we go look for someone to raid, or shall we leave things be since it's New Year and such? It's... Or you know, New Year's Eve, uh, whatever. Uh, are, there, mm. are there anyone to even raid? Uh, let's there see. There probably are. We have redacted cats with demon souls. Sour Walrus is doing a New Year's Eve special. The Lagstorm is playing Pokemon Platinum. Don't see that one stream too often, I think. I'm Nice is playing New Horizons as usual. Intro VT is playing Warframe. K9 is streaming Noita. Kirinatsu Yoko is back to Doom 2. Horatius the Dwarf is playing Koromon. Let's see. Road to Titan 2 Nozlock. Um, okay, I'm taking a peek here. Okay, I'm guessing it's the fact that they're calling it a Nuzlocke. It, <clears throat> pardon. Has me think that it's probably a monster catching game and such, and that's a new avatar. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then last but not least, we have Puffle Cakey with The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Yeah, I guess we can raid someone and shout uh, Happy New Year. Uh, let's go be nice to nice then. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, copy the name, slash raid and paste, but before we start that, of course, thank you everyone who's watching now or later. Do we have anyone lurking in chat? Uh, let me just actually get the chat tab revealed here, there, uh, there, okay. Uh, no lurkers, oh well, most people are going to be with family at the moment anyways, so no issue with that. <clears throat> So, yeah, thank you as always, Drakir. And, yeah, for everyone who is seeing this uh, yeah, later, <laughs> Happy New Year, and, well, <laughs> until next year. You welcome us always, our friend, and thank you all for watching, and <laughs> Happy New Year. <laughs> yep, until next time then, people, and thank you all again. Be safe, everyone, and watch out for the seagulls. Hey.